something that I feel like everybody's a little, a little peeved off about. So the NBA refs have been horrendous this season. And I'm not just talking about in terms of calls. They have been horrendous in terms of calls as well. But a lot of it has to do with just their attitude and their, it seems like lack of proper training in my opinion, genuinely the lack of proper training. Uh, and their, their, uh, their laissez-faire style of throwing texts every single time that a player does anything at that point. Like, okay, I just, I, I was watching the JJ Reddick podcast and he explained what happened when he got ejected. And his only reasoning for like why he thinks he got ejected is because he spun the ball a little bit too hard at the ref. Like, that's horrible. Like, he literally got tossed for giving the a, giving the ref the ball to start the next play. Like, how do you toss somebody? That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Like, it's just, it's horrendous. They, they threw out Draymond. They ejected him for yelling at his own teammate. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's ridiculous. And just their calls are so inconsistent between referee crews. I feel like a lot of the new refs they brought in just haven't been good. I feel like they need more training in, in a sense because a lot of the calls that they call are, you know, they should actually be fouls on the other person. So let me try and explain this. So I think a lot, of, I think almost everybody saw that Steph Curry highlight where, you know, they asked, is this an offensive foul or a defensive foul? And it was Steph Curry at the line. The defender was standing straight up with his hands up, not moving. Steph Curry took uh, took a dribble, jumped into him, hit, elbowed him in the face and shot, and they called a foul on the defender. Like, what? That's 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 ridiculous. That's, I think it was – I think it was, was it Dennis Schroeder? Yeah, it was Dennis Schroeder. It was yeah. Dennis Schroeder. And they challenged the call which I, I love challenges, by the way, in the NBA. I really do think that's a fantastic system. And I think they should continue, you know, pushing towards uh, challenges and all that. I do think it's a great system, but they challenged the call and they didn't overturn it. They didn't overturn it when he, I'm not, I'm not going to say it was intentional, but he very clearly elbowed him in the face and by the rules, that should be a flagrant one just by the rules. And What's so strange is that they do this a lot for Trey Young as well. And you mentioned how you hate it, but you know, it's not how basketball is supposed to be played. You're saying I, I, I agree to an extent. Uh, I, I don't, but I don't blame the players for this. I blame the refs. The refs are horrendous. They, they, it seems like they don't even know the rules because back in 2011, there was a rule made against, it was specifically against Dwayne Wade because he kept doing the exact same thing that's happening right now where he would initiate contact with a defender and they would call a foul. But he was the one who initiated contact. Let me read the rule to you. The offensive player in possession of the ball is not allowed to jump into contact going up for the layup once a defender is already jumping straight up in the air defending the offensive possession. So it's literally in the rules that you can't jump up to create and purposefully create contact to get a foul that's in the rules you can't and these refs are calling it the other way like are they need to they need to really steadily go over this rule book and either make some slight tweaks so that it's the language is more clear or something they need to make some maybe they should change that um i know it says layup here but they should probably change it to just shot in general because of how how horrendous of a of just uh, this, it's almost like a, it's like a pandemic sweeping the sweeping the basketball world at this point of players just taking a shot and jumping into someone, creating the contact, sometimes even hitting them in the face, hitting them literally, and they get the foul call. That's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. These refs need to they either need to be, you know, they need to be uh, either trained better fired find something needs to change adam silver needs to change something yeah i couldn't agree with you any more than that i mean i was watching some other clips i think it was seth curry uh he literally ran up to a player on the Cavs and literally just threw his body into him while going up for the shot and they called a foul on the defender uh, i think luca also did the same thing against the warriors a couple games back um just a lot of bad calls and I feel like 
I feel like this is what the game has become because even if you watch any basketball game at this point, it feels like you'll see one of those plays. You'll see a play where someone jumps up and then the other person goes up, jumps into them, kicks their leg out or something like that, and they usually call it against the defensive player. I feel like that is definitely people just kind of cheating the system. Um, they're abusing the call because they know the ref would most likely give it to the offensive player because they don't want the offensive player to get hurt, of course. Um, but I just feel like this is really bad for the game. It changed the game a lot. And it's kind of changed. It's kind of made it harder for players to even play defense. You know, the pump fake used to be so good, but now it's just like pump fake person jumps they jump into the, the the defender and then they get the foul and I feel like that's not how it should be played I know old heads are having a field day with this kind of situation um but you know I I, I mean it, it's it's bad and I feel like like I've been saying before Trey Young and I'll you know go along with what you said even before that James Harden both of those two players have been at the forefront at the, of these now, James Harden hasn't done this as much as he used to back in Houston, but James Harden has also been getting away with some horrendous flops. Now I know the the NBA warned LeBron and Kuzma for flopping, but their flops were were <laughs> tremendously bad and very obvious. But one, the James Harden flop against the Clippers literally cost the Clippers the game. They called the foul on um, Kawhi Leonard when he's going for the layup to win the game. And then James Harden flopped, held his face, flew back, and they called the foul on Kawhi. And they lost pretty much lost the game because of it. And I feel like like moments like that, they have to be sharper. I know the game moves at such a fast pace nowadays. It's hard to capture with your eyes in person and in, you know, in game speed, but you have the, op- the opportunity to even just look back and review plays and stuff like that. With that option available, a lot of these calls should be, you know, reviewed, overlooked, you know, reversed. Um, you know, I felt like that Kawhi call should have been reversed. It should have been a foul on James Harden and it wasn't given to them, of course. And I just feel like the reps are probably, in my opinion, from what I've seen with the, with the game, are at an all-time low. And, you know, I couldn't agree with you more. They need to go get some retraining or something because this is literally affecting the game in so many ways. It's costing teams games. Like I'm saying, it's literally costing teams games. And, you know, to go on also even with a bad ejection calls, I think Draymond was ejected uh, when they were playing the Hornets, I think after the jump ball. And literally that cost the Hornets the game because Draymond is – People don't want to say it. He's the heart of that team. Not the best player of the team. Obviously, Curry's the best player of the team. And he's kind of – but, you know, I feel like Draymond's the engine that keeps the team going. And the team is much better when Draymond plays. And just to have him kind of booted out, Ari, after Steph went out feeling ill that game, it was just kind of the cherry on top and made sure the, the Warriors lost. And, you know, they have to get better with these calls. They had to get better with ejection calls. They gotta, you gotta know when to blow the whistle and when not to. You know, you can't call every single thing a flagrant, or you can't call every single thing, you know, ejection worthy. I don't even know what Draymond said, but he got booted out. And like, like you said earlier, he yelled at his teammate. That was a joke. That was a joke that the fact that he got ejected for that. His own teammate he yelled at to pretty much get back in position and stuff like that. He got ejected for that. It's ridiculous. And I just feel like basketball, it's getting hard, harder to watch. Um, you know, I always love basketball and football. They'll always be, you know, the core of my sports-loving heart. But, man, the refs, the refs are making it very difficult. Yeah, I don't want to be over dramatic and be like they're ruining the game, but they do make games significantly less fun to watch when stuff like that happens. Uh, I do also want to say the refs are supposed to be, par- like, non-biased and partial that's what a referee is supposed to be they're supposed to see a foul and uh you know take out the emotion out of it and just say okay this player did exactly this this is against the rules obviously humans can't do that completely we're all humans of emotion factors into all of our decisions heavily nobody's can nobody can just be straight up logic 24 7 but at the same time like 
a lot of these refs just have grudges against certain guys in the league, like DeMarcus Cousins. Early on, he kept getting texts for no, for nothing. He would he would clearly probably get fouled, or get he feel like he got fouled or hit on the hand. He'd get up and walk over to the refs, and they'd immediately throw a tech at him. Like that's ridiculous. That's like at that point, that's just that's just harassment. At that point, like that's not even it's not even fair. It's not fair to him. It's not fair to his team. It's just straight up like it. <laughs> This feels so dumb to say, but it's almost like targeted bullying towards these players. Like they have it with Draymond too. Draymond gets ejected for the slightest of things, but LeBron can go and shout at the refs for like 20 minutes and they'll be like, it's whatever, it's LeBron. Like they, they can't, they know they can't eject LeBron. Uh, but they'll eject Draymond like that. They'll eject Boogie Cousins like that just because they have a little bit of a reputation. Um, you know, it's, I think the refs really need to be more understanding uh, you know what JJ Redick said about his first tech that he got, you know, why he got it. He, Cause in that game, he, that, he, he, that was his second tech. That's why he got ejected. His first mm-hmm. tech was because he said the, he said the F word to the ref. He like, he walked into the ref and he, he was like, ref, that was a foul. And the ref was like, nah, it's not a foul. Like whatever, all this stuff. Uh, and JJ Redick says, all right, you can explain it however you want, but that was an effing foul. And he got a tech for that. Are you kidding me? Just because he used a curse word? Like, are these refs, like, are they kindergarten teachers? Like, grown grown men curse. That's, sorry, that's the reality. He wasn't cursing at you. He was cursing in general in in the the sentence. Um, It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. These refs are just, they're they're softer than Charmin. Um, And legitimately, like, I, I know that a big reason why the refs don't go punished or anything is because it's so hard to find refs and hard to find good refs in general. Uh, but at the same time, like for some, some of these refs just need to be fined or get a slap on the wrist just so they know it's not okay for this kind of stuff. Like throwing texts at dudes like that, like for such minimal reasons, for such petty reasons, for just for cursing, like that's, re- come on, like, you're all grown men in there, like, except for the female referees, but the rest of y'all are grown men, like, come on, like, just, you got to understand, like, you're all adults, every, every adult curse, I've never met an adult that doesn't curse, unless he was, like, attached to a church or something, you know, unless he was a holy man, I've never met an adult that doesn't curse, everybody curses, it gets intense in games, people are passionate, they want to win, feels like the refs of these days don't really understand that, I feel like the, you know, the refs kind of back in the day, you know, Players would talk trash, then they talk trash back. Like it was actually sometimes kind of funny when you hear the refs mic'd up. Um, but nowadays, it, it's almost like the refs just don't want to hear it. They don't want to hear any type of opposition to them. Like they just want to be the dominating power over everybody else. And they just want their word to be final. They don't want to be wrong. I remember when they first implemented the challenges, the refs weren't really overturning anything. Because they didn't want to admit they were wrong. Even obvious, clear fouls, they were not overturning them. Eventually, they started to. Uh, but when it was first announced, I remember they really refused to, to accept any challenge. There was like, I believe there was like, uh, when, like when it first started, there was like uh, somewhere around like 30 challenged calls that were denied and like two that were accepted. Like it was ridiculous. It's like when the NFL with the, with the PI uh, call, you know, they, they just weren't calling, they weren't overturning anything. Um, yeah, but they're just, you know, there needs to be some type of system in place. Adam Silver needs to find a way to find these refs or at least give them a slap on the wrist, give them maybe suspend them for a couple of games. Cause Hey, that's also their paycheck too. You know, they should, if they, if their ejections can make a player uh, be suspended which happens if you um, if you get ejected too many times or if you get 16 technical fouls or more, you can get suspended by the league. So if if you get if you botch up too many you know calls, I feel like you should be put on leave for a, a few games, just to kind of you know because these refs are just I feel like they're kind of on a power trip, like legitimately they're on a power trip. And I don't want to get too philosophical about this, but like, you know, like not everybody. There's a very, very few select amount of people who should actually wield power. Let's be honest. (laughs) Like most people can't handle power. That's why you see so many managers are just horrible managers. They don't know how to handle power. Um, 
and the refs in this sense, they need to kind of be educated on how to handle their power because they have the, they have the power to influence the entire game. They could literally win it for an entire team if they wanted to straight up. And, you know, it, they need to, they really need to grill them this summer and be like, look, we need to go over these rules. You need to know these rules and call them. We're going to show you film. You have, you have to tell us, is this a foul? Who's it on? Like what's going on? If you get too many of these questions wrong, I'm sorry, you can't ref for us or you have to ref for the G league or something and work your way back up. Cause this is just, it's just ridiculous at this point. Legitimately. I have a serious problem with these NBA refs. Yeah. I, I was thinking about a, a old clip back in 2007 and it just seems so surreal, but it seems like nowadays it wouldn't be, it wouldn't seem as crazy now. Uh, I don't know if you remember the Joey Crawford, yes. uh, you know, yeah. ejecting Tim Duncan for laughing on the bench. Joey Crawford actually was suspended indefinitely after that, that notion. Um, I have not seen a ref, personally, I've not seen a ref or heard of a ref being, uh, being suspended since a situation like that. And then, you know, just thinking about like how goofy that situation was, I feel like if that happened now, it wouldn't seem as out there, you know, as, as bad. That's how bad it's, it's gotten. Like, I can imagine someone laughing on the bench too loud. And, you know, how quiet the arena is now with, you know, little to no fans. I feel like someone can legitimately get ejected for that. And, you know, and people would, wouldn't give bad an eye or eyelash to it. And that's how, how rough it's gotten when it comes to officiating. And, you know, I agree. There has been a lot of bias. Um, you know, I've seen a lot of games where it seemed like certain refs have it out for certain teams. Uh, I know a couple of times with the Knicks, there seems like there's, a, a, there's, I don't know the name of that ref, with, no, don't know the name of that ref in particular, but it seems like every time they ref it, they're a little leaning against the, the Knicks and, and stuff like that. Um, but, you know, I, they need to really, you know, clean up on their act and need to really reinforce some type of repercussions to some of these calls. I feel like the ref who, you know, called that on JJ Redick, he definitely could have used a slap on the wrist for a ball being thrown too hard in his direction. Like, come on, you know, all the other ones, Boogie Cousins and Draymond, I mean, those guys could always use a slap on the wrist because I feel like they're always so quick to yeah. call. They're so quick and have a quick trigger when it comes to those, those, play, those two players in particular. And, you know, like I've been saying throughout this whole night, throughout this whole day, throughout this whole podcast, I couldn't agree with you more, Bert. I, I really couldn't, Bert. I couldn't. Hey, I also want to say that um, I just forgot what I was going to say, actually. What were you talking about a little bit earlier? I was talking about how a lot of the, the reps are quick trigger when it comes to Draymond. And yeah, yeah. I was going to say, like, cousins. all right, like imagine if this was like soccer. Like half the team wouldn't even be able to be played. Like the refs were as trigger happy as they were in the NBA, you know, like <laughs> the NFL also has a bit of a problem. I know like some of the playoff games, especially the Super Bowl were really, uh, they were not officiated very well, uh, but it's nowhere near as bad as the NBA. Uh, these refs just need to get their act together. Genuinely. I, I just, I don't really have any, I don't really have much else to say. Uh, I hope the players, appeal as many texts as they can because they are fined for every tech. So mm -hmm. uh, I believe they really do need to appeal as many texts as they can. JJ Redick, uh, he said on his podcast that he will appeal the second tech. He doesn't really care about the first one, but he will appeal the second tech where he just threw the ball at the ref. And I agree. I think that ref needs to be suspended. Uh, but yeah, 